Bye, guys. Um, that said, it could take up to 15 seconds to start this live, and it definitely took all 15 seconds. So what's up, everyone? I'm Kelly Walters, and today's webinar is Heat Printing Holiday Magic, and we have a lot to cover. So um, let's see. There is the chat box. You guys know that you can ask questions in there, and I will do my best to get you answers just so we can make sure, one, that the chat box is working, and two, you guys can hear and see me. Will you guys just let me know in the comments that, one, sound volume is good, and two, um, there's no glitch in video. Hi, Laura, Phil, Patrick, Stephanie, Sharon. Hello, hello, Kimberly. I love it. Uh, Laura, you said hello from sunny Northern California. And it is, well, it's finally 42 degrees here in Kansas. And it was 28 this morning. So I am not ready. ready. Okay, everything's great. Awesome. Okay, so today we have a pretty long um, PowerPoint, but we do have applications. I'm going to do my best to show you how those products look via camera as well. But what I really, really want you guys to take away from this webinar specifically is the amount of opportunity, ideas, um, products to use, and then really how to execute it. So if you don't have a pen and paper next to you, I strongly recommend going and grabbing one really quick um, just because of the amount of products. And I don't mean stalls products. I mean soft goods, hard goods that we are going to go over. Um, and then I do have a couple that are already decorated that we are not going to decorate, but I at least want to show you what they can look like and just explain to you how easy it really is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. You guys know you can pop in the comments at any time and Shauna on the other end will definitely keep me updated with it. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so heat printing holiday magic. We're gonna cover so, so much in this. I need a clicker. Okay, so on the agenda, profit with one-offs. Because we are in that holiday time, and really holiday started um, yesterday with Halloween, but as you are thinking about gift giving and the upcoming months, there's going to be a ton of one-offs with personalization. So just really understanding how you can profit with on-demand printing, accessories for gift giving. This may not be the time where you want to guess somebody's size. So what can you purchase out there or what can you have available for purchase that is going to give people that no thinking I need to purchase it type of mentality? Special special effects that will sparkle. Tis the season. And as you can see right there with those wine glasses, rhinestones are in full force. And for those of you that have been avoiding rhinestones, I'm telling you, they are coming back. But especially for the holidays, using patterns, this is a perfect time to incorporate full color, kind of give a unique look without having to do the one on one personalization, if that's something you really don't want to. And then a sneak peek at the new design tool. All right, selling one off. So what products should you use for one offs? And the first one we're going to start with is HTV heat transfer vinyl. Now, for those of you that might be on the direct to film or the ultra color max wagon and train right now, you know what? Stay there. That's a great place to be. But the beauty of about having um, vinyl is that there are going to be special effects that you can get with this type of product that you cannot get with other media. You can cut as ordered, meaning if somebody is ordering from you, if you do not have a Roland or a graph tech, you can get a silhouette or a cami or a silhouette cameo or a cricket and still be able to produce and cut these one off designs. Now you can have pre cuts on hand. So if you know you're going to choose X amount of designs, maybe people have voted on them. That's also an easy way to go in, order them, have them cut and weeded and sent to you ready, ready to apply. Once you're out, you're out and you kind of set that um, that time allowance on people to purchase. 
It's great for added personalization. So whether or not you do screen print and you don't do screen printed transfers or you do screen printed transfers and you're adding personalization to something later, HTV is still an excellent, excellent way to go. It's extremely affordable. And yes, you can keep control of it with how many you need. Now, if you are cutting in house, in your office, in your room, wherever, yes, you are going to have to weed and weed is part of the time it takes for production. But at the end of the day, if that means that you can get that order done and out the door that same day or the next day, then sometimes being in control of that weeding is actually very beneficial to you and your business. Okay, next, one-offs. Okay, second strategy is to stay within Ultra Color Max if you need that full color, right? You can have that um, Ultra Color Max is a one piece minimum for those of you that are new to Ultra Color Max and that is our uh, direct to film transfer. The beauty about having one offs, whether it is vinyl or Ultra Color Max is that you are going to have very, very, very little waste. Maybe you have some garments on hand, but if you're ordering as needed, that means that you have less of a pile up of garments stacked in a quarter, um, you know, ready to be shipped or things that you sit on year after year because something didn't sell the way you expected it. Now, you do have to go up against transit times and we've all experienced the crazy times with one holiday shipping and two, if something like UPS is not delivering for a certain period. You would have that type of issue with ordering something like Ultra Color Max or transfers ready to be um, cut and sent to you ready to be applied. But that is when HTV can come in and help save the day, depending on how many colors it is. We are going to do some decoration with both HTV, how to apply a mixed media design, how to apply um, Ultra Color Max. And um, I feel like there was something else. I think that's going to be it. I'll show you how uh, some HTV is going to look on some products. But I know most of you probably already know about Ultra Color Max or HTV, but sometimes it's nice to have a refresher that this is why a product can be super beneficial to you in your decoration business. All right, strategy number three. Okay, so we have gone over one more. Using HTV, you got short runs, Easy personalization. Strategy number two is order as needed, which would be your Ultra Color Max. And strategy three is heat print on demand. That means people come to your site, they can order, you ship as needed. You've popped up at an event. Um, there are a ton of shows in my area where vendors will come in pop up and people can buy their products. So whether or not they are picking the design, you are doing it on the spot or you already have some ready to go, that is still going to be your print on demand option, which of course, you're gonna be ordering some inventory which you think you can sell or will sell, but before you apply, you can choose to do that on the spot to help save and reduce waste like we just talked about. It does create some impulse for people to be, be able to see it right then or there. I know lately I have been guilty of being on TikTok and somebody pops up with something. It's an ornament. I've seen several ornaments lately. And the fact that I can go right then there and buy it and know that I can cross that gift off my list is a no brainer. So that in a sense is print on demand. Somebody is going and buying that directly before they cut, do whatever they need to do. They're waiting for that order to come in. The other thing to keep in mind is that this is going to require a higher profit. I expect to pay more for something that is either gonna be custom with my name, custom with what I've chosen, and then of course, in a particular timeline, which we are all up against. So keep all of those factors when it comes to actually giving and offering the price of those products. Okay, so let's talk about accessories. This is one of the 
easiest that I think is to sell during the holidays. It doesn't have to be sweatshirts or hoodies. It doesn't have to be um, garments to wear. It can be something simple like wood slice ornaments. Now, I know you can purchase these at Hobby Lobby, Michaels. You can go on Amazon and buy them in bulk. When I checked, I think I saw a bulk of 50 or 100 pieces. Now, this would be great to do sets, whether maybe you're doing family names. That's what you're offering is a family pack of three, a family pack of four, five. And then people could either gift the, the ornament with their holiday card as a thank you, hello. They could gift it with personalization that goes on a tree. Great. Listen to this. Markers like table markers, that's another easy option to really kind of bring it all together for the holidays. So whether or not you're using it as an actual ornament, use it as a bag tag, use it as a location uh, placement. There's really so much that you can do. And yes, you can actually put those wood slice ornaments under the heat press. Um, I know at one point Jenna had done a video on decorating those. Um, I think it's a couple of years old, but I would type in wood ornaments in YouTube um, and see what pops up on Stalls TV because I know they have been done before just to show um, an actual execution on how to do it. But you can use glitter flake, soft flop to give it a velvety type of finish. And then Ultra Color Max is just fantastic to go on a variety of random types of materials. So whether or not you want to order a couple, you want to try it, you want to sample it out, go to your local um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels and then go and try to source those in a larger format as well. And surprising enough, if you know you need to purchase hundreds, go and talk to a local store that has craft things like that and see if there's any way they'll give it to you at a bulk or if you can buy from them in bulk versus going to Amazon. Okay, another profitable accessory is glass ornaments. And as you can see right there, this isn't something we would be heat applying. This would be something that is pressure sensitive. So with that CAD cut pattern sign vinyl, you can go to CAD cut patterns and design your own color scheme in the majority of our patterns. Some are gonna already be preset, but you could easily take a buffalo plaid and really make it white, green, black and gray if you wanted and really customize that pattern. You want to choose the sign vinyl option, not the heat applied, so express print or soft opaque. Then you're going to cut, you're going to weed, and then you will have to mask it and then you will apply it to whatever you are decorating. So whether it is a hard good or a flat surface, um, you want to use the pressure sensitive for this. Now, it is going to take just a, a little bit. There's an extra step involved as you are going to have to mask it. However, it gives you that full control on being able to personalize a water bottle, a notebook. So if you have your standard traditional designs that you use throughout the year, and you're not doing a holiday design, but maybe you are a brand, this is the perfect time to offer personalization, which we will talk about just a little bit longer in, in other slides. Add, offer personalization throughout the holidays and see what it does to your overall dollars. Are you going to increase because people have chosen to pay seven, ten dollars for a name? Does it makes sense for you to offer personalization when it takes you maybe five more minutes to actually apply that, but yet you've made $10. Those are things that you want to think about, but they are very, very easy to execute and uh, keep going with, uh, you know, something like ornaments. Okay, so tea towels. Tea towels are extremely popular and we're going to decorate in just a little bit. As you can see, not only is this full color, but it is also listed with names and then the family names. So the Williams Kitchen Crew, this could be a great time to do sets, do a tea towel, do a napkin, do a placemat. So as you're writing down things to do, you could go again to that local store and grab a whole bunch of different types of options and either do a set 
of three. You could do individual, really customize with the name, choose fun sayings. Um, it's just really, really easy to go in and create. And you can use the Easy View Designer on TransferExpress.com or ET or LTE, which is our new designer that will be available on stalls. But you can choose several word art templates and, and, and type in what you need to. So the, the benefit to this is if you're looking at that and going, I have no idea how I'm going to create that. There are templates that are available for you to create that um, right there with stalls and Transfer Express. Okay, so napkins and table runners. Hey, Kelly. The thing that I wanted to talk about is placemats. Kelly. Yes. Before you get very far, we have a question regarding the sign vinyl that you uh, were talking about on the last slide or yeah. two slides ago. <clears throat> Cassandra is asking what you, how do you mask that product? And if you use, oh. yep. <laughs> I'm like, I was thinking, I was like, do I have any over there? Yeah. Okay. Hold just a scan. And I don't have anything to mask, but I can at least show you what you need to do, or at least the idea of it. These aren't necessarily the products that go together, um, but I can at least give you an idea. And then when you need to order or customer service, whomever, we can make sure that you're getting the right products, right? So this is part of Patterns. And this is going to be a bad example because it's going to be glitter and there's no pressure sensitive glitter, but pressure sensitive pattern to glitter. Let me rephrase that. So this is one of the patterns. So it's like this marble effect. You could order this pattern vinyl in pressure sensitive. This is glitter. So you've got that glitter effect, just like glitter flake. There is standard express film and then what am I missing soft opaque in there anyway those are all going to be your heat applied but when you select pressure sensitive it's going to be a flat media you're going to stick this in your cutter you're going to cut what you need and weed away the excess okay so let's just pretend that this is a nice weeded design it's going to be right side facing up because when you mask, you're putting your carrier on it and that is going to mirror your design. So then you take your mask, which this is like sticky tape. And then I'm going to put that on top of my design and basically wallpaper it down. Then I'm going to remove that clear. This is fun. <laughs> I'm going to remove that clear carrier. And then your design is now going to be stuck on your mask. So then it's going to look like it is a standard heat transfer design or pressure sensitive design that you can order cut and ready to be stuck um, to a hard good. So you've got something that would then turn out like this. So this is just your simple name. But when you go down to mask, right, this is your right side up, you're going to peel it off. And now this is going to be the way it needs to if you were to apply it on a tumbler. So I don't know if that just made it worse nope. and confused the heck out of you. Or if it Sandra helped. said, perfect. Thank you. So <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks for pivoting, Kelly. So when we're talking about napkins and table runners, this is, again, going back to that tea towel. Make sets. Make, make options for people because maybe they have a $25 budget and they're just, they would love to just get that done in one setting versus spend $10 here, $15 here, you know, and $5 somewhere else. If you can kit or create sets for people and allow them to choose what they want within their budget, you'd be surprised how many people would actually just go for the higher amount because that completely crosses that person off their list. Maybe even teacher gifts, grandma, the list goes on, right? But you can personalize with names. 
Um, and then, of course, you can really cover and highlight a specific and a specific event or holiday. Now, again, that design that you see there, which is Mary and Bright, is a design in our Easy View Designer. So that is Clip Art 5W, or excuse me, W5A-17. So you could go in there, use that same design, and then just personalize the bottom with a party, with a um, grandma's name, with your family name, whichever, whatever you need, okay? So... I'm going to show you how to do that, but from a different perspective. So we are going to use um, a placemat. And the reason why I like a placemat is because I have specific placemats that I use like during the summer and then, of course, during the holidays. And if I know that I have something personalized specifically for a time period, then it's going to come out, it's going to be used. So these were purchased at Hobby Lobby. It was two for $6.99. Then you get their 50, 60, 75% off, whatever they do, something crazy. But you get a set, I got a set of two on this. Now I'm using that same, it's not that one. <laughs> that same Williams kitchen crew. And I did go a little bit larger, but it's because I knew I wanted it to pop up. But you could have this exact same size on your placemats, on your tea towel. Um, maybe it's even a, a cleaning rag, right? Or napkins. There's just really endless op options and opportunities. But because we only need one, we could have made this as big as the mat, or we could keep it small. That way the logo is consistent throughout all of them, right? But with Ultra Color Max, you that's the beauty of it is I could have completely customized each side to where it all looks really uniform versus just kind of cookie cutter. Okay, I'm not switching out my platen. I don't need to. So right now I do have the tag along on here. So two, um, $2.97 is what I'm at currently because of the material I will be using here in a little bit. But you can go $2.95, 12, 15 seconds, hot peel. I'm going to place this down in the corner because if my plates are in the middle, then I still want to see my, my beautiful design. It's going to go for six seconds. I'm going to do it again. And if you're wondering, well, why are you doing it again? It's because I have it set up for a double application here in just a little bit. It's a hot peel, okay? So beautiful. We can see names. Maybe instead of gold, we could have gone with, I don't know, a different color, but I think this actually looks really nice. I know it's uh, reversed for you guys, but there we go. So now we have something that doesn't have a gear on it, but it is listed with a family name and people will want to keep these and hold on to it versus just thinking, oh, that was from 10 years ago. Okay, so let's move on. This, this picture cracks me up. There's me. Drinkware, I love drinkware. I'm addicted to mugs. Is anybody else addicted to any type of drinkware? And that could be your Stanley tumblers, to your coffee cups. Um, I know I'm not alone in this feeling, but if there is a coffee cup that I absolutely love, I have to grab it. Same thing for a tumbler because I am one that is affected by new tumblers and help me increase my water intake. So, do not miss out the opportunity. It's great, again, for teachers, family members. Um, you can really do those customized gifts with something like this. Now, that flex style emblem is pressure sensitive and it is dome. I'll show you before we um, apply this. But it's so, so simple to just peel and stick. That's all you have to do with pressure sensitive emblems. You can get it in beveled, you can get it in domed, which is what I've got with mixed with a little bit of texture. Um, and then that blast is supposed to be flat. But you can see that we have a mix of metallic and then we also have matte. Speaking of water bottle. So this can go on any hard surface. Okay, and I say any, but I also mean lightly. I have found that it is, if it is a like 
wrapped mug or tumbler and it's great for sublimation like it's wrapped for sublimation i have found that these are not the best to do that that it is better to stay with um like a decal versus an emblem so if that's something you are doing on the side with sublimation and you're thinking about adding an emblem to that i would do some testing set it forget it touch it in 24 hours but that's just something that i have noticed as we have placed these on a variety of things notebooks helmets um really anything plastic they work great for me on yetis i have several yetis with flex style on there and they have done um so 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 well over the years so let me see what next okay so let's go back and actually apply this so i can show you just how easy it is and i feel like we're hopping around with the presentation but it's just how it is okay so we're gonna peel right Whoop. that's not what i meant to peel but that's okay so it's supposed to come off the back this is extremely tacky as you can see and then the beautiful thing about this is you have a lot of control on where you want to place it. Now, if this was free floating text, it would be a little different. You would definitely want to make sure that that carrier stayed on there. But because we have the ability to just place it wherever we want, I could really just make sure, okay, this is exactly where I want it. Set it down, make sure it's nice and placed on there. Set it, don't touch it. That adhesive has really got to cure onto the mug before you start going in and, and picking at it because yes you could technically go in here and remove it right now so that 3m adhesive really just needs to lock on whatever that hard good is there is a minimum with these okay there's 25 but if you look on that presentation i actually had a phrase around that santa that said something so if you're looking for that personalization opportunity how can you get more out of that sale that's where you personalize it that's where you add a name on the other side or a name on the bottom or a funny saying or a phrase around you know whatever that emblem is if you do school if you do school spirit wear and you are really trying to get into another market stay with that school spirit wear but then creep into personalization and gift giving around the holidays stay within school but offer those gift opportunities so even if this was like an eagle right that would be the perfect time to be able to customize for a teacher and then that's something that you can gift or give to multiple teachers within the building we have right. a question we have a yep. question um rebecca is asking if there are holiday flex style available that are stock so that they don't have to do the art fee i love that idea but no unfortunately not so um i think that's a great note that we could take and give back to our team and see if there's something that we could do especially for holidays i've i've been asked for american flags a lot um so i will definitely we can take that in and run with it and see you know what we can make for the future i do have that santa art so that was something that was created with our team and that is something i can get out however you will still have that fee when it comes to the art setup now the other thing that you can keep in mind is i know it's november 1st and if you're not already focusing on when your last order can come in you should think about that in terms of fulfillment so with flex style patches emblems anything like that is something that you want to do you really got to get it in sooner than later that way you can make sure you meet those delivery times the other thing that i was really kind of talking about in terms of that was if you're looking for designs to get feedback um, and you're on social media post them see what people think and then that way you can kind of narrow down what you want to do and go from there remember the minimum is 25 and if you don't put a date on it that's something that you can use for the next couple of years to make sure you really move through your inventory another two other questions on that sarah is asking how long does the flex style decal decal need to cure i recommend 24 hours don't let it 
like don't touch it for 24 hours um, and then put it in the box and ship it. But if it's something where somebody is coming in and picking up an order, don't do it in the morning and then have them pick up their order at 3 p.m. Because it, there's just some people that want to go and pick. So I say set it and forget it for 24 hours, get it done, let it sit overnight. And then the next day, let people be able to come and pick up their order or then ship it out. Um, that's my recommendation. I know some people kind of go a little bit longer, but the best thing you can do is set it and forget it and not touch it. Uh, next question are once they have the flex style, are those uh, hand wash only or are they dishwasher safe? Um, correct me if I'm wrong on this, Shauna. At, at one point, they were dishwasher safe. I don't know if that is adjusted. Um, do you know if it's adjusted? So I know we recommend hand washing, but I do know some folks on our team have put the ones that we've received in the dishwasher and they're fine. So I think we would recommend hand washing. Yeah. So for safety, hand wash. Um, but like Shauna said, and like I had said, I've, I've got coffee cups that I use weekly and the Yeti tumbler is four years old. So um, take that as you may. Uh, but for safety, I think on everybody's end, I would say hand wash. Um, and then you're always going to have those daredevils out there that are like, nah, it's going in the it's going in the dishwasher, which is myself. So our um, colleague Sue is one of those mavericks. She said she's washed hers in the dishwasher at least 100 times. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and I do, I will say, I do believe that that also goes along with what the tumbler is. This is a Mars tumbler. Um, oh, cannot remember where we get these from. It's a Mars maker. Ah, okay. If somebody wants to know, then message me somewhere or reach out on uh, the Heat Press for Profit group. Um, I can't, the name is escaping me where we order them, but this is like a very smooth wrapped surface. And this is where I was saying, I have found that the flex style emblems with the pressure sensitive do not hold up on this. But if I were to put it on this, that has a little bit of texture or even this ceramic, this is going to adhere beautifully. So I am one that believes in testing. And if it's something that you're going to put out there in the masses, then I would just make sure as a whole, you feel really strong and comfortable about the, the cup, but just say hand wash just to cover it. And then what product, Rebecca wants to know what product would you recommend using to personalize if you use flex style on the mug? Yeah. So I don't have that cup, that Santa cup anymore. It, it made it, it made its way back to Michigan, but I would just use sign vinyl. So that is something that you could purchase from us. You could go to any craft store. I think you can get sign vinyl now at like Walmart and Target. It's just standard sign vinyl. So the reason why I like that is because then it creates dimension on the cup. So you've got your Santa that's going to still stay nice and popped out from your your cup or tumbler or whatever your hard good is but then you have that flat sign vinyl that is flush with that product so you've got a couple of different dimensions going on and i feel like that always elevates any type of product um and i like elevation because it always warrants a higher cost and sign vinyl is super cheap especially for personalization if you know the name is like yay small that's it on questions. We're caught up to date. Cool. Okay. So starting back. Okay. So you can't really see it there with that font, but it said, I can't remember what that, what that one says. Oh, it was said, I'm not a regular Santa. I'm a cool Santa. So it could be, I'm not a regular teacher. I'm a cool teacher. You know, you guys just let your mind go crazy with the type of phrasing that you could put on that. Blankets. I swear by blankets, um, especially if you can personalize personalize them with the name. Um, I don't know how many of you are on, you know, go through Shutterfly, but Shutterfly offers fully personalized sublimated blankets. You can put pictures on there. 
Now, if you want to keep it lower cost and really just timeless, this is a great time to use CAD cut soft flock. So you're going to have that crushed velvet type of texture, super, super smooth and soft. So it's going to complement any type of blanket or towel nice. But the beautiful thing is you can do one offs on these. So if you are worried about having a $20 blanket in stock, keep one or two on hand and then restock as needed. But with having the ability to cut vinyl and personalize that blanket, you can choose the quality, you can choose the texture, you can have more control with the type of product that you are putting out there versus just going, oh, we're going to screen print it because it's easy. So for those of you that are working on gift ideas for corporate change the idea from screen printing to using HTV. That way the texture of the design or logo can stay consistent with the material of the blanket. Uh, wood plaques. So um, this isn't something necessarily I would recommend for a like cutting board, but if you wanted to have a you know sign that was up in the kitchen somewhere on the doors, HTV is great. And I will also say you can heat apply as well. If you've got something like a clam, you've got to make sure that when that clam comes down, that it can get um, parallel with the platen. You don't want it to have it angled, otherwise that adhesive won't um, adhere correctly. But something simple like that, you can easily use Ultra Color Max with your heat press. Um, you guys remember we, we heat press on boxes, gift bags. Um, so something like wood plaques, again, is going to warrant a higher cost, but extremely, extremely affordable in terms of creation. Kelly, before you move forward, do you have a favorite blanket that you like to decorate on? Um, yes, I do. <laughs> I do. And okay. it is actually, I have two. So I will say that I personally feel <laughs> that J America's Sherpa feels softer and more plush. Okay. So this is actually a pillow, right? And then the blanket goes in here. So it's excellent for car rides to families. Uh, blankets for game days, but this is J America. I think it's like a 60 by 70. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a massive blanket, but the reason why I like it is because you have a couple of different print locations. You can print on the side of the pocket. You could print. Um, I think there's actually, you could go down at the corner, but when it comes to customization and it's rolled up into that pillow, that's a perfect time to put like the family name. And then if it's unrolled, you're still going to have the family name on it, but it's just going to be in blanket form. So this one, okay, I'm going to give you guys a reference number. So I don't know if this is it or not, but just SNS W1112884. Now it, it applies beautifully under a heat press. The other one is Boxer Craft. And it has actually a spot where if you do embroider, then there is a way for you to hoop. Um, you could thread this. This is thinner. Um, it's still very, very soft, but I just feel that one, and I don't know the cost difference between the two, is a little bit more luxurious. This one is smaller. So if you've got somebody on a budget or you want to be able to offer a better and best option, then that's the route I would go. So Box of Craft is another one that I have used many, many times. And it is Q21. And it, this, this color is specifically natural. But those are my two preferences. Um, and there's others out there that are great. It's just I've always gone to J America and Box of Craft for those. And then uh, Thelma is asking, back to the mugs, does the adhesive stand up to the heat of coffee? Okay. I would say, because that's what I drink. <laughs> <Coffee. laughs> I mean, so like when we originally did training on Flex Style, but it feels like moons ago, at one point 
the the flex style was approved for elements like outside elements so if i'm thinking about that and being on a metal or a window in heat right that's going to get hot as well so i think the biggest thing is most of the time with a a cup a tumbler it's not paper you're not going to put it on paper and it's going to feel that heat most of the time you can touch a mug at least for a little bit and then it's going to cool down but it doesn't stay hot over hours if it does stay hot over hours then it's insulated and you're not even going to feel it on the outside okay so pillows oh man <laughs> i'm gonna have to take it down in a minute pillows right this is easy you can buy those covers super super affordable most of the time on amazon you can get them for two for like twelve dollars um and then that's where you can really take it into full color with ultra color max or you can mix in that uh mixed media of htv or old htv and um ultra color max but what i love is that tip right there sell covers is a pack for various holidays with one insert so you can sell for 12 holidays make that an option make it an option for five six four and let people choose the inserts or excuse me the covers that they want so maybe instead of one for every holiday somebody wants three for christmas you can choose to let them have their designs and then that set is really customized for them um, you can pretty much get inserts anywhere um in, including ikea so if you have an ikea close or if you do a you know cost analysis between different stores check out places like ikea and walmart to see how much the inserts are going to be um, and then really kind of de develop a plan or a price point over that but again it's going back to packaging it's creating ease for people they don't have to think they don't have to plan for, for the future you have packaged everything together now this one specifically was from um hobby lobby that i did i think a couple no, I'm sorry, Amazon, a couple years ago, and I believe the insert is actually from Ikea, but this one says it's fall gift thanks, and we've got ultra weed in the green. As you can see, we have glitter flake down here, and you probably won't be able to see the texture, but this is flock. So the reason why I like this is because if somebody were to actually use this pillow, the glitter flake is going to stay down here. This is still going to stay nice and smooth. And then of course your ultra weed, you, you really can't feel like, you really can't feel that it's on the pillow, but this is going to complement this, uh, what is that? Knitted woven material. Um, so it's kind of like a linen, but a little bit softer, super, super easy. Um, you, you tack each layer down and the last, the last one, which I believe was the heart, you finish for the full second. So ultra weed would be like three or four seconds, three or four seconds flock. Again, four or five seconds, I would go just a little bit longer. And then you're going to go for a full 12 on the glitter flake. But when you're looking at three, three, five, that's 11, 12, 30 seconds, maybe a minute to do this entire pillow in terms of application is very very quick to do something custom like this you've got mixed media you've got that sparkle and of course because you do have that mixed media just just know it does always warrant a higher cost okay up next on profitable accessories decals so decals um are just the uh, it's the flat version of the peel and stick emblem so again it's going to be a sticker it's got some it's going to be something that you're going to peel and stick to any type of flat surface so if you're looking well why would i use a decal over an emblem well you are going to have that setup fee with patches and emblems um, with the decals, it's a $25 minimum, okay? So the larger the design, the less quantity you need, smaller design, more quantity. You can make your own water bottles. You can make your own signs for drinks. And of course, that's still something that you can put on a tumbler, on a mug, on a notebook. So the decal, just look at it as a peel and stick flat version of the emblem. A little bit more affordable, but you know what? You can still get that full color capability um, as needed. 
Um, and it does say decals are dishwasher safe, but I would say they need to be hand wash as well. Okay, sparkle foil and adhesive. Um, we always get uh, a lot of traction whenever we show foil on our social media. And it's super, super easy to do. It allows you to change up the colors. With the foil and adhesive, that adhesive is something that you cut in a cutter. You apply it just like you would any other HTV. But what you're doing is you're creating that adhesive to put foil down next. So that red, that gold, that leopard, that green, and that red, we're all individually placed foil, but you can do it at one time. So what you're really doing is just laying foil on top, whatever you want, heat applying, letting it cool down, and then removing that foil. So sorry, guys. If you just want it to be all red, you can use that same design that you could do four or five colors with and do all red. So you're cutting or you're ordering the design in the same amount of quantity, but you have flexibility in the colors that you're actually going to offer. Glitter flake, okay. It's another material I went on with that whole sparkle side of things, right? So foil, glitter flake, chroma twill, metallic, um, chroma bling, fashion film electric, hologram, Feel like there's more but there's really so many options when it comes to glitter so what I want to show you guys really quick before we do apply is if you look at this and you go um, I hate weeding this is why I don't use glitter or I don't want to offer glitter because I hate weeding it well this is a small design but I am I'm pulling okay so what you can actually do is carry your side down. My press has been on since 8.30 this morning. So this is hot. It's been at 365. Now we're at 290. So just know mine's going to be a lot warmer than what it would if you were to just turn it on. We're going to just let that carrier sit on that platen and, you know, really take on some of that heat to loosen up that adhesive. You can do this with any hot peel product. So if there is a material where you hate weeding it because it's extremely tacky or it needs to have that grip, warm it up with your heat press. You really only need to do it for a couple of seconds. I can show you this and then go to weed. It'll be so much easier. But if you have really fine details or those little dots, um, periods, anything like that, just know you don't want to get it too hot because it, that means that carrier is going to remove from quicker. So it's completely different of a, a different experience. Now, I know that some of that was already weeded, but just trust me when I say warm it up if you have not done that before. And it will save you in terms of frustration time for production that you can weed it so much quicker. Okay. Going back. <laughs> Chroma bling is one that I talked about. You've got seven color choices here. It is a little bit thicker in my opinion. However, um, Chroma bling is beautiful and it really gives you something different. Um, there is a product on there that will shift. So it's, it's showing you it's got red shift. And what that means is whenever you see shift at the end of a product, that it can um, change colors, one in the light and two what have, with whatever substrate it's on. So because this is on a nice, deep green color, you're going to see more of that gold. But if we were to put that on a red shirt, you'd see more of the orange and uh, kind of red tones come out. Patterns, we've gone over how to mask those. Um, but when you go into the, the pattern designer, which is the Stalls Creative Studio, there's a hundred Christmas patterns. Um, and like I was saying, there's some that are already set. You can't adjust the patterns uh, or excuse me, adjust the colors. But then there are also several that you could go in ugh, several. There's many, 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 many that you could go in and change. What I mean is instead of, say, green leaves, 
or instead of that a uh, hunter green background, you wanted to be, you know, sky blue and hot pink berries, then you could go in and adjust those colors instead of traditional Christmas colors. Now you're kind of in that fun electric Christmas type of theme. Okay, apparel with Ultra Color Max. Oh, I'm struggling today. So pop culture. It's huge right now from grunge, Y2K, um, pulp, mu pulp, pop music. So with pulp, oh my gosh, with pop culture, Taylor Swift is huge. I'm in Kansas City and I feel like every time I see a shirt, it has to do with Taylor Swift or Travis Kelsey. So in my Santa era is not only hitting them on, on that pulp, pop culture trend, but there are going to be ugly sweaters or fun sweater parties. And that is an excellent way to be able to have something that somebody would want to wear over and over again, but then also be fun to wear if they have parties to go to. You can do the one-offs with the with Ultra Color Max. It's gonna ship next day, right? So if somebody's going, oh my gosh, I need an order fast, I need it by the end of the week, then you can work with whatever is available in terms of product, blank goods in your, um, your facility and then get those transfers in quick and get them out the same day. Um, this one was built, there you go, in that Easy View LTE QH l-173 so you could type that code in there that design is going to pop up you can change the colors text can be edited and clip art can be changed so instead of a, a present maybe you changed it to a snowman right you guys get the the drift okay so we're going to decorate with ultra color max um has anybody not used ultra color max while you're getting ready, you want a couple of questions? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So um, let me go back. Uh, what do you, Cassandra wants to know what material is best on Sherpa blankets? Soft flock. So it's called CAD cut. That's, that's the material description or the classification it means it's HTV, it can be cut with a cutter. And soft flock is the type of HTV. And then uh, Diana is asking, what product is on your shirt? Ha ha, Chroma 12. It's a newer one, but I absolutely love it. Um, this is the silver color. Um, I don't know, can you guys tell that it's shifting? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I love Chroma 12 and it can be layered. So soft lock can also be layered. Um, Chroma 12 could be layered, so you could do Chroma 12 on top soft lock and get all sorts of crazy. I switched out my tag along for an 11 by 15 because there is a pocket on this hoodie that I'm going to decorate. And I just want to make sure that I have a completely smooth surface, um, no seams. We want to make sure that we don't have any obstructions for our heating element to go down. I'm going to take my... In my Santa era, I like to find the center by putting my ends together and then I just crease the top only. And you do not need to use a cover sheet with Ultra Color Max. I did not cut a straight line, so let's see if this is going to be straight on the sweatshirt. I'm gonna adjust my pressure. We're a little too high right now. I'm gonna have to do this twice. Um, and then it's a hot peel, just like the um, mat that we did. Whew, pulled my, pulled my press. So now we have that sweatshirt. It's good to go. We can bundle it up all nice and pretty and package it out. Get it out by the end of the day. So if it's something that you really need to get done in four days, it is very, very doable, um, especially if you are rushing shipping. Okay, so Ultra Color Max, easy, done. Hit on those trends. Get that product out there. It can create something unique. Um, yes, you're probably going to have people that are going to copy you, but I guarantee you people are going to want to pay for it. <clears throat> Okay, again, um, the Ultra Color Max. The next thing I wanna say is we briefly touched on a box. So if you wanna decorate boxes, um, 
feel free to do that. Order those boxes uh, from Amazon or wherever you order boxes from. Put an ultra color max transfer on there. It could be your business. It could be a message to the customer, some type of happy holidays message on the inside when they open it up. There's a lot of opportunity there. And as you can see right there, that is another clip art. So W5A-21. Um, and then you can add the clip art that you need to and really customize it. Okay, so we're going to finish decorating now. That way, and that way, if you guys have any questions, then you can keep going, but we're going to finish decorating. Okay, so up next, another shirt, right? Simple t-shirt. This was a design also available in CADWorks, not CADWorks, Easy View. This would be one that you could put on a sign, you could put on a door. So if you do something, this is the one that mimics that, oh, it broke, oh, it broke. <laughs> I tried to fix it before, but. So this is a pennant, right? It's just gonna hang, but it is one that complements that pillow, so it's a little bit smaller design, but you get, you get the drift. You could do Ultra Color Max on something like this with name personalization, and then it's something that they can hang on the inside, in a bathroom, in a kitchen, wherever, and you don't have to worry about the outside elements. But then you can also take this design and do a circular outdoor wooden sign, put a personalization, a name on it, um, date, year, whatever, you guys got it. So this is a design, Easy View Designer. I don't know which one it is, but, just know it is available there. Ooh. On the pillow and pennant, it was glitter flake, ultra weed, yep. anything else? Soft flock, that was the black. Black is soft flock. Okay, so Sherry, those are the three that it leaves were ultra weed, the heart was glitter, and the text was flock. Yep, correct. Uh, have a question from Cher. She said that the patterns she purchased in the past were thick and weren't very soft and flexible. Have they been, are they softer now? Um, patterns for, I think the garment. HTV, I think the yeah, HTV. Okay. Patterns, yeah. So more than likely you probably purchased, um, express print and it's not going to, <clears throat> It's not going to be the thinnest available. So that's where I would really make sure that you've got uh, thinner stems, more cavities showing through. Um, soft. I was thinking soft op opaque was available in patterns, but I could be wrong. Okay, so here's another easy one. The one I wanted to show you here is that even though we have green in the tree, if you're worried, worried about having a garment, um, you know, if it was going to fade into this, something that's extremely trendy and popular right now is having garments with complementary co colors of the shirt, of the logo. <laughs> so instead of having this be a nice, bright, truck with a tree. We wanted it to be a little bit more muted, stand out in certain ways without being so vibrant. So don't dismiss darker color shirts when we are talking about a little bit darker graphics, just because it can change kind of the element or the overall feel of the shirt. Okay, another one that we are decorating is the mixed media. We are doing another short sleeve shirt. But what we're going to do is make this mixed media with glitter flake, metallic, and then our ultra color max. Now, if this is something you want to do, you will not be able to do this in design on um, the Easy View Designer uh, LTE or on Transfer Express. And the reason being is because if you're using clip art on one of those platforms, you cannot export it, go and edit it, and then make it your own. So you're gonna have to design in whatever software you use. I am not trained in Corel or Adobe, so I love my CAD Works Live. And that's C-A-D-W-O-R-X. 
L-I-V-E dot com. And you can import, export, you can create in there. But the reason being is we needed to make sure that our image was broken apart. So here's my truck. I have taken out colors and I have taken out my ornaments. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply our Ultra Color Max first. Then we're going to come in with our glitter flake. <laughs> That's going to go in those cavities. This, this is hard. And then our ornaments, which is going to be our metallic, are going to fit in there. Now, what I will tell you and preface you ahead of time is there were a couple of uh, knockouts that were not cut out of my glitter flake, so our metallic is going to have to go onto that. That's a no-no, okay? Um, glitter flake cannot be layered on top of, so it can't be glitter flake and then another material. Um the, the texture of glitter flake makes it very, very difficult. The other thing that I want to preface is there's been some talk in our Heat Press for Profit group about layering on top of Ultra Color Max. I have cavities created, so I'm not layering on top of Ultra Color Max. I'm going to be layering on top of the garment. So if you are going to want to decorate with mixed media or use Ultra Color Max and other types of HTV, make sure you have your knockout design. So when I say you can't create those in um, the Easy View Designer, it's because there's not a way to break apart the design and then export those pieces that you need to cut with your cutter, which is why I like CADWorks or a different type of platform. So when I'm in CADWorks, I get my art prepped ready, I break apart the colors that I need to cut and then I break apart the design that I'm going to have printed in Ultra Color Max. So when we printed this, if you were to print this normal, all of this would be filled in with color. I broke apart my two colors, which is my red and green. I uploaded this file into the Easy View Design Center Transfer Express. This is what I got sent. This is what I cut in house. So. Let's, uh, let's apply that. Okay, we're gonna do it on the back. I am using our tag along. I love the neck on this thing. It makes it 10 times easier for me to have an accurate alignment. I am gonna pre-press because that shirt's pretty, pretty wrinkled. I'm gonna take our truck, that's what's gonna go down first, and I'm only going to tack it down. Now, I'm not going to just rip it away, even though it's a hot peel. I wanna make sure that as I'm removing that carrier, that that um, direct-to-film is actually appearing onto the garment. So, you guys saw it, it was already coming up, we're good to go. Now I'm going to also tack down <clears throat> our glitter flake. And with those open cavities in the shirt, that's how I know I'm going to be lining it up correctly. I would recommend some extra light because I can't see. Sorry, I'm extremely particular. You guys know this. Okay, we're going to tack this down. Now, here's where I would use a cover sheet because I want to make sure that my max is not exposed to the heating element. Now, here's the other thing. When it comes to mixing media, you want to make sure that you are doing cold peel as the last step as much as possible. Otherwise, if this was cold peel, then we'd have to wait for this to cool down and then we could go about our business. But this is a hot peel. Plus the other thing to remember is that Ultra Color Max is a hot peel. So we wanna make sure that the adhesives can release nice and easy once it's on top of this Ultra Color Max. Now our last layer, which will be going for the full time, is our dots, our ornaments. 
And remember I said that I have some that didn't get knocked out, so. There we go. Now, metallic is a cold peel. Adjust this for the full 12 seconds. So I'm gonna try to just get that to cool down as much as possible. Otherwise, if I peel that carrier, it's actually going to delaminate that metallic. So you'll see a lot of that beautiful um, finish fade away. So Kelly, while you're waiting for that to cool down, there are a couple of questions about the software that you use to create the design. Yeah. Like, what did I use? Yep, exactly. <laughs> so the truck was actually from Silhouette Studio and I had, I had some monies in there. So I went in and I purchased that, this image from Silhouette Studio and I imported it into CADWorks Live. So like I said, I'm not a graphic artist, but I will use the resources that are around me. So you can use Etsy. If you guys have concepts or something that you need redrawn, Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, is a great place to go and find people that can redraw. LinkedIn has some incredible connections for people that can redraw um, art for you if you need vector files. Um, so that's where this one came from. But CADWorks, I call it like the Word or PowerPoint of Corel or Adobe. It's very basic. However, there's contour cuts, there's outlines. Um, you can break apart by colors. You can, you can do so, so, so much with it. The majority of designs that I create are created in um, CAD works unless I need to use a template um, or design in easy view, but I'm not mixing the media. Um, so Sadly, I wish I said, you know, I could say I created an entire truck in there, but I am not that skilled to do it. Um, and it doesn't have that type of software to where you can uh, bend and, and manipulate lines. So I am actually switching this around while that's cooling down to do a left chest. This is massive, but I just want to show you the whole point of this on this T-shirt now. If you are curious about um, really how to make sure that you can go out and capitalize more on garments or apparel, personalize it with a theme. So this one is the kitchen crew, right? So why not bake cookies with grandma or bake family cookies? Maybe really focus in on those um Oh, what is that called? Traditions, thank you to myself. Um, that you can have people com commemorate those type of events. And if yes, if you can put somebody's name on it and then do something fun on the back, it's nice and easy. So you have your standard design on the back, but then the front is where it's gonna get personalized. Any other questions? We are almost done. Nope, I think we're caught up on questions. Let me just give a quick run through. Okay, so we've got our kitchen crew with our left chest. And then on the back, we have our mixed media design with our Ultra Color Max, Glitter Flake, and Metallic. Now, I could have done something with the star, but I chose to keep that star um, flat and then everything else kind of has that, that sparkle and shine to it. There's not a lot of glitter flake on there. So we keep the, the back of the garment nice and lightweight. And I will tell you that metallic um, is one of my favorite materials to work with. Weed, um, just really do anything with. You cannot layer metallic on top or anything on top of metallic. However, it's just a beautiful finish, whether you're putting it on foam, flock, or even the knockout design of this um, Ultra Color Max. So, yay! Okay, that's it, guys. That's all I got. 
we're done. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you know that you can reach out on Instagram, Facebook, go to Stalls Heat Printing and just send us a DM. You can call customer service. Um, and then, of course, the um, Heat Press for Profit group. If you guys are not aware, go join it. And um, like I said, there was a conversation about layering on ultra color max in there. And there's some people that um, have really gotten a lot of um, questions answered from people that are in the business doing it day in and day out. We are there to also help and answer questions, but it's more about building that community and people that have gone through the experience, the trial and errors, and really just kind of understanding what's capable out there. So, um, Let's see, what was the size of the Santa logo on the hoodie with the pocket? My Santa era. Yeah, okay. You want to know how big this design is or how big that Santa is? <laughs> I'm like, which one? <laughs> What size? Oh, so is it a logo? Um, I think I normally go 11, 10 and a half or 11, but let me measure it really fast. And then for Matari, the heat press for profit group is on Facebook. Yes. Did I say Instagram? Maybe. Um, yeah. Heat press for profit is Facebook. But you can message us on Instagram or uh, Facebook. Okay, here we go. Yes, entire design size. You're correct. Okay. So snowflake to snowflake. Uh, looks like 11 and a half. So in width. It's like 11 and a half by nine and a half. It doesn't look as big as that because I'm going from snowflake to snowflake. So the, the text is eight inches in width. So I, if you guys are looking for specific design sizes and how to do it, that's one thing that I think you always have to be aware of is it's, it's from corner to corner, right? So this is 11 and a half, but this is only eight. So I probably would have made this just a little bit larger but because you pay per square inch with uh, Ultra Color Max, you're then paying for all of this negative space. So just be cautious of that. I think that's a good size, especially when it's on the body. I just prefer large, massive logos. <laughs> that's it. Um, okay. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And, um, you know, we're here to help anyway and happy November 1st. There's two months left in this year and I, I just can't. I can't believe it. <laughs> Crazy. All right. We'll see you guys next time and have a great day.